All right, I'm going to go through your previous classwork quickly. The people that are still not going through these exercises and guys, please go through the videos and write everything down as you go through the video, okay? Um, I'm explaining this, guys. Basically, after this, I'm going to explain it four times just on this slide. I've explained more in the previous videos. Please go through those videos because some of you keep on making the same mistake. And well done to those that are getting it right. I know I never compliment you, um, but well done, well done, well done. And thank you for replaying the videos and making sure you understand every concept that you need to learn. Everybody else needs to do what you have done. Okay. Now, let's just go through this quickly. I said here, I'm simply multiplying this monomial. Monomial, I said it's one term. So this monomial factor is being multiplied by a binomial. I said a binomial is two terms. Now, this is what some of you are doing, and I don't understand why you're doing them, guys. What, what Did you guys watch the previous video? Because I told you not to make that mistake, but some of you have made exactly the same mistake that I asked you not to make. Are you really playing these videos? Inside the brackets, inside, I mean inside this bracket here, I have 2x minus 3. 2x minus 3. Are those like terms? They are not like terms. Why aren't they like terms? Because they don't have the same variable. And even if they had the same variable, they don't have the exponents of those variables are not the same. In this case, they don't have the same variable because 3 doesn't have x at all. Can I say 2x minus 3 is minus x? Can I do that? I can't, guys, because these are not like terms. I cannot add or subtract them. And some of you have done exactly that. And I ask you not to make that mistake. All you can do here is to take this and multiply it with that. Take 5x and multiply it with 3, which is the statement. Basically, what I've just said, I've just written it down. 5x multiplied by 2x. Here it is. Um, 5x multiplied by 3. In between, I still have minus. 2. Well, 5 times 2 is 10. x times x will be, you will write it as x, but you will add 1 with 1. 5 times 6 is 30. But I only have x, and I don't have x um, as, a, as part of 6. So basically, my answer will just be 30x. And then you're going to say 1 plus 1 is 2. So I'm left with 5x squared minus 30. That's it. You cannot subtract these two, so you just leave it as it is. As I've said, well done to those that got it right. To those that didn't get it right, please go through the videos. Even here, I did the same thing. I took this one outside and multiplied it with that. And I took this 3x cubed, y squared, z cubed, and I multiplied it with that. Now you're going to say 5 times 3 is 15. x cubed times x to the exponent of 7, it is x to the exponent of 3 plus 7. y squared times y squared, you write it as y, but you're going to take 2 and add it with 8. z cubed times 
z to exponent 7. You write it as z, but you're going to take 3 and add it with 7. Easy. In between, you have plus. 3 times 2 is 6. Easy. x to the exponent 3 times x to the exponent 2. You write it as x, but you're going to take 3 and add it with 2. Come on, guys. y squared times y cubed. I'm going to write it as y, but I'm going to take 2 and add it with 3. Z cubed times Z squared, you will write it as Z, but you will take 3 and add it with 2. And it will be Z to exponent 5. And this is all you had to do. And this should be your final answer. Well done to those that got it right. It's a lot of you as a matter of fact, okay? I will send the thank you uh, notes shortly to everybody. Well done, well done, well done, okay? Now, here, you do the same thing. Ah, uh, guys. Ah, uh, guys. To those that haven't watched my videos, please, Explorer, guys, Explorer, just catch up, please. Watch the videos, because you will keep on making the same mistake if you don't watch the videos. And I told you, watch each video at least three times. Don't do work just because you want to finish. Do work the right way. And before you do work, watch the videos to avoid making the same mistake over and over again. 2 times 3 is 6. k exponent 4 times k exponent minus 3. You'll write it as k, but you're going to have 4 uh, plus minus 2. 4 plus minus 2 is 2. And then you're going to take this that is outside and multiply it with this. Okay, I can see a mistake there. Let me just correct it quickly. All righty. Um, so you're going to take this times it with that, times it with that. See, as, I've, as I am writing those errors, guys, that's what exactly I'm, that's exactly what I'm doing. This times that, yes that times that, okay? This times it with that, here it is. That times that, and this, which is 2k to the exponent 4, times it with 2. It is 2k to the exponent 4, times it with 2. All right, that's all you needed to do. There's nothing you can do with the inside because they are not like terms, so you just leave them as they are. You can't add those terms, they are not like. I said to you, for terms to be like, they must have the same variable. Does 2 have k? It doesn't. And if they do have the same variable, the exponents of those variables must be the same. Is negative 2 the same as negative 3? No. So you can't add or subtract anything inside the brackets. All you can do is just to multiply by the term that is outside, which is 2k to the exponent 4. Negative is still there. Positive is still there. And I did say this. That's why, guys, what makes me angry is the fact that some of you don't even bother to watch the videos. You just rush to doing exercises without properly understanding what is in the video. Because I explained that if you're multiplying a monomial with a binomial, your answer must be a binomial. I explained that. If you multiply a monomial with a trinomial, your answer here will be a trinomial. A trinomial is um, an expression that has three terms. Your answer will have three terms. If you have one term, you must be concerned. Or if you have two terms, you must be concerned. The number of terms can only be reduced if certain terms inside the brackets are the same, are like terms. In this case, I don't have any like terms.
Now let's do my multiplication. 2 times 3 is 6. k exponent 4 times k exponent 4. You're going to take, you're going to write it as k, but you're going to take 4 and add it with minus 2. 4 plus minus 2 will give you 2. Now I still have minus in between. 2 times 5 is 10. K exponent 4 times K exponent 4 will still be K, but I'm going to have 4 plus minus 3. 4 plus minus 3 is 1. 2 K exponent 4 times 2. I don't have any K there, so my answer will just have K exponent 4. All I'm going to do is just to times 2 with 2. 2 times 2 will give me 4. So I'm going to have 4K. I mean, 4K to exponent 4. This is it, guys. And this will be your answer. We'll give you answer shortly. Here, 6 minus 6, M4, and 5 multiplied by, multiplied by 5, M3, M, M2, N. There it is. I still have minus. There is this minus. Minus 6 times. 3m5 minus 6m4 and 5 times 3m5. So it's this times that. There it is. S Let me start here first. Minus 6 times 5 will give you minus 30. m4 times m2 will give you m6. n5 times N1 will give you N6. Negative times negative is positive. 6 times 3 is 18. What is M4 times M5? It is M9. That's all. I don't have N here, so I'll still have N to the exponent of 5. Ah, uh, guys in, guys in. And when you simplify this, this is what you will get. The answer to the previous one will be that. Guys, please go through these videos. Please go through the videos. I said each video, at least go through it three times.